more things. Right there. Stand if you think it's you. Yes, come. When my friends know that I listened to Abraham, they said, oh, have you seen The Secret? Esther is on The Secret. And I said, uh, no, but I got the DVD and you weren't on there. Abraham wasn't on there. And so I thought, well, they must have seen it someplace else and got mixed up with it. It's a very similar teaching. And then somebody again said, well, have, have you seen Abraham on The Secret? And I said, no. <laughs> Esther and Abraham are not on the secret. Oh, yes, they are. They are. And I was very confused about that. Last night, I found out there are two versions of the secret. But I wondered whether Abraham wanted to comment on how there are two different versions of the secret. We would, but it's a secret. <laughs> Jerry and Esther were approached by the producer of The Secret. She wanted to do a series of television movies based upon the work of Abraham. That was the way she approached Jerry and Esther. And so they met with her and listened to her ideas and agreed to have her come. She came on one of the cruises and brought her crew and filmed the entire seminar and then interviewed Jerry and Esther and Abraham in front of a green screen, which was the footage that was to be utilized on The Secret. As The Secret unfolded and Jerry and Esther saw the footage, while there were things that they, if they had been the creator of it, would have done differently, for the most part, they found it to be an extremely uplifting, good-feeling first step in understanding the powerful law of attraction. And this very delightful woman said that she would um, find others who understood law of attraction and that they would put together this collage and Jerry and Esther recognized some of the people that were on The Secret as people who had been long time on their tape programs and so on and some that they had not known before but Jerry as he watched it especially found it to be uplifting. Esther said for her it was a bit like being someone who hears perfect pitch and even though there's a beautiful piece of music being played if it's off just a little it was mm -hmm. discordant to her mm -hmm. but for the most part they liked it very much and then about 200,000 of those DVDs that had Esther's face and Abraham's voice were sold. It was supposed to be a television movie, but the network in Australia that was going to air it for some reason was not. And so in order to recoup their dollars, the production company began looking for other avenues in order to market it and did. Again, Jerry and Esther felt uncomfortable with the the way it was being marketed, not because there was something wrong with it, but it was just different from the style. Jerry and Esther are liking the idea of allowing things to be, and it felt a little more assertive than they were comfortable with. Mm -hmm. But again, it was really not their business so much. It was the production companies, and so Jerry and Esther just used that experience as an opportunity to try to turn downstream over and over again, and were doing a good job of maintaining their balance. And then they got an email from the producer who said, the contract that we have with you, because Jerry and Esther had sought out an intellectual property rights attorney before mm -hmm. they allowed all of this to be filmed, is hindering us from marketing this in the way that we want to. So you have two options. You can either turn over your intellectual property rights to us, or we will have to edit you out. And for Jerry and Esther, now it was a very easy thing. Turn over our property <laughs> rights, be edited out. And even though being edited out was certainly not something that they wanted, it was clearly downstream for them. Now, there are those who said, oh, there were other options. You could sue, you could hold to your contract, but all of that was upstream mm -hmm. for Jerry and Esther. Mm -hmm. And so they just took the path of least resistance and... Then they began to receive thousands upon thousands of emails from people who had seen it and loved it and wanted more, who ordered it and were unhappy that Abraham was not present. And so 
Jerry and Esther wrote an email that they distributed to let people know that nothing has gone wrong, just enjoy what's coming next, feel appreciation for what was there. And so that really is the story, and that's about all there is to the story. Nothing mm -hmm. has gone wrong, everything is right. The way we like to tell the story is that Jerry and Esther have been doing this work for a very long time, and they had set forth a very powerful vibrational escrow of which this film was a part. Mm -hmm. In other words, there is no question that that was based upon the dialogue and the work that Jerry and Esther have been about for all of these years. Mm -hmm. There's no question about that. And we certainly understand that after the fact, now the woman who is selling it is not acknowledging that Jerry and Esther were a part of it because she can't acknowledge that they are a part of it without detracting from what she has going on. And Jerry and Esther, while Esther suffered a great deal from it initially, have got themselves into alignment about it and the whole of the matter is that they are benefiting enormously mm -hmm. from this exposure to the secret. There are all mm -hmm. kinds of people out there that are being activated to the idea that you can create your own reality and that the law of attraction abounds. Mm -hmm. We acknowledge that this woman held to her vision very tightly and created what she wanted to create. And we will say to you, especially in the context of what's going on here, what she did was not nice. It was not nice that she did to Jerry and Esther what she did. But nice is beside the point, don't you think? Mm -hmm. In other words, she came into alignment with what she wants. She gave her undivided attention to it. The universe is yielding to her. She's getting what she is wanting. And, for, and Jerry and Esther came round to understanding that for someone else to receive what they are wanting does not in any way detract from them. Mm -hmm. In other words, no one can detract from the work that Jerry and Esther are about. You see? And so this is a secret that keeps on giving. Mm -hmm. The best part, the best, <laughs> and, and the most interesting thing about all of this, and this is the thing that is stunning from our broader non physical perspective the secret movie tells a story about knowledge being suppressed. That's sort of the basis of the secret that there are laws and things that mm -hmm. you have not been allowed to know. And we think that by taking Abraham and Jerry and Esther's part out of the secret, they are doing the very thing again <laughs> that they used as the basis oh, for their wow. movie. Because Indeed. unless you put the non-physical part of it in, then you've left out the guidance. And mm -hmm. when you've left out the guidance, then you'll just leave people mm -hmm. out there to all kinds of other random experiences, no mm -hmm. one really gets a bead on how to deliberately create. Right. When you're traveling from point A to point B in your vehicle, it's easy to know, just head in that direction and keep going and you'll get there. But mm -hmm. there are all kinds of people who would like to go from sickness to wellness or from an, a bad relationship to a better relationship or from confusion to clarity who haven't been able to quantify those journeys. Mm -hmm. And the secret that there isn't a secret. Calling law of attraction a secret is like calling gravity a secret. Mm -hmm. like, like if we don't tell them, they'll fall up and stoop down. <laughs> if we don't teach them about gravity, they might throw a baseball and it might just go off into outer space unless they know that there's gravity. And we say, that will never happen. Law mm -hmm. of attraction abounds and there's not a shred of evidence to the contrary of it. And mm -hmm. the secret that has been suppressed is that you are source energy in physical bodies. That's the secret of the suppressed. Even though everybody in the world world is an extension of source energy. In other words, people don't keep the secret because they're trying to deprive you of it. They keep the secret because they don't think you're ready to hear it, you see. Uh -huh. And there's nothing wrong with that, is there? Because a teacher, a really good teacher, understands where his student is. So. Very interesting. So really, the story, the story of the secret is, I want to tell the world the secret to creating. But I see that the world isn't ready.